What's up guys, welcome back to another video here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an automation over here in NAN where we're going to use an OCR tool that will be able to scan documents and extract any relevant fields we need from invoices for example and then we can do anything with the data like upload it into Google Sheets, send it in an email or anything like that. So I'll show you right now, this is the invoice we're using. I just put some dummy information in here. So we can go go ahead over here on our workflow, test the workflow and upload the document into here. And you can see right away we could submit it. And this whole entire workflow will run through within like two seconds. It'll go through all these nodes. And if I look over here on our Google Sheets now, we can see we have the date of the invoice and our customer name. I just pulled two fields from here, but we can do much more than that, of course. And we can also, instead of putting it into sheets, we can send it in an email, upload it into a different CRM, anything like that. So for this example, we're going to be using something called Mistral. I think this is the most powerful OCR tool out there right now. So we can go through here and just see some of the things before with the tables and figures and in the OCR result. Um, they do math, as you can see here. They have different languages like Hindi. Um, this is a document right here before or before and then after like that. So yeah, I think this is a really powerful tool. I'm going to be showing you how to set the whole thing up. And this Mistral is free too, so we, we'll get right into it right now. So I'll put a link to this page in the description. It'll bring you right here and then you can just click try the API in the top right. It'll make you create an account and before you can use the API keys, you're going to have to set up a subscription, but you can just click the free one, the experimental one, and all you'll have to do is enter a phone number and then you'll get access. After that, you can just go over here to left to API keys and you can just create a new key. Uh, I'll just name this one um, test and make sure to save this key right here because it'll only show once so copy the key save it somewhere and you can click done after that so after you get the api key saved we can go back to nan and create a new workflow for this we're just going to be using a form submission to upload the files so we can just go to nan form on new form event and then we could just name this file um and then put upload file um i'll just put file again and then for the element type, we'll just put file. So now if we test step, it should bring up something like this where we can choose the file that we want to upload. Um, and then we can just put in the invoice right here, press submit. And then if we go over here, we should be able to view it. And it's in binary, so we can see right here, this is the invoice I'm submitting. All right, so now we have the binary file over here on NAN. We're going to have to make three different HTTP requests to Mistral. The first one is going to be uploading it to Mistral, then we're going to be getting the URL, and then we're going to be fetching the results back from Mistral. So we'll go ahead and set up our first HTTP request. So what you're going to want to do after that is go back to the Mistral website. In the top right, click Docs, and then over here on the left, go to OCR and Document Understanding. And then we're going to want to scroll down to this one right here where it says Upload a File. And by default, I think it's going to be on Python, but just switch it over to curl because that's what we're going to be needing to use for this. And then you can just go ahead and copy it right here and go back to the request. And there's a button right here to actually import the curl that we just copied. So we'll paste that, import it, and then we have everything right here. Um, the one thing we are going to need to change is right here under the NAN binary file, we're going to put the name as the file that we inputted so it's file right here so we can just put that in like that all right so the last thing we're going to need to do in this node is actually add our api key right here under authorization so if you save the key earlier you can just go ahead and paste it in here but what i want to do is since we're adding three different http requests to mistral i don't want to add this in every time so we'll just add authentication um, in NAN so it saves in every node. So we can actually just copy this right here. And then we could turn off send headers and add a generic credential type. Um, I already have one saved, but we'll just add a new one. Go to header auth, create new credential. We'll just name it Mistral. And then we can paste what we just copied over there. And if I go to expression, you can see it. It should be bearer space and then your API key and then we have to name it authorization and then if we go save 
good we got it there mistral and if we go ahead and test this step it should work perfectly fine and we see here so now we have the id which is what we're going to need to use in the next http request to get the url so let's go ahead and start setting that up so what you're going to want to do now is go back to the mistral docs and where you're going to want to go down over here to where it says get signed url make sure it's on curl again and copy it and we can go back to the http node and import the curl again just put we put what we just copied right in here and import it so we can first things first what we can do is just turn off the headers because in the previous node we already saved the credentials so generic credential type header off and the one we saved so that's looking good and the one thing we do need to change here is this ID right here so switch it to an expression and in between these two slashes just take out this ID and the dollar sign and drag the ID in from the previous node put it right in between here and now that we can test the step and everything should be good as you can see we do have the URL now we can just change this to get URL and we can go to the final HTTP request now alright for the final request we can go back to the docs again and you're just going to go up here to OCR with PDF again make sure it's in curl we can just copy it and import it again uh, first things first what we're gonna do is turn off the headers because we have the authentication saved generic credential type header off and the one that we have saved and what we do want to do here is go down to the body content type and we can just go to expression and expand this and they have an example URL in here so we just want to take this out and put in the URL that we grabbed from the previous node and just put it in between like that now that we have everything we can go ahead and test this and we should have all the results from the invoice right here so we can go ahead and view it and we have the address the name everything like that and now that we have everything here I'm gonna go ahead down here to response and just delete this whole entire field because I don't want it outputted in binary so if we go like this and test a step again now everything looks good this is how I want it and now that we have all the data from the file we can really do whatever we want with it but what I recommend doing is adding an information extractor node which is gonna use AI and we can extract information from the file and then really do whatever with it um, we're gonna be using just OpenAI for this example but you can use whatever you want and in this node what we're gonna do is change this to expression and just drag over the markdown from the previous node which just has all the information from the invoice so next we're gonna add some attributes and this is how we're gonna pull whatever information we want from the file so we can just do name of customer and then the description name of the customer and it's pretty repetitive but this is how it works again we can just do price price of the service and then if I test this now we should be able to see we have name of the customer and the price of the service so now that we have the information we need from the file we could do whatever we want with it we could send it in an email we can add it to Google Sheets um, really anything you want so yeah I think this is a really helpful tool if you like this video please subscribe please like the video and I got more videos coming soon so yeah stay posted thank you